Hello everyone, and this is going to be my first drunken political video. I hope you all enjoy this. Today's indulgement is black velvet. I am a connoisseur of cheap alcohol, if you couldn't tell by the branding that I usually buy. Today, we'll be covering the paradox of tolerance. I'll try to have a little image pop up somewhere around here, and uh, it will describe what the actual paradox of tolerance is. Pretty much the paradox is that uh, one cannot tolerate intolerance, because if you tolerate intolerance, then it just breeds more intolerance. Again, we have Tiger here with us, meowing up a storm. So if you hear meows, that's her. Alright, uh, the paradox of tolerance solves itself in the fact that the paradox is not a paradox. If you tolerate intolerance, the idea of the paradox is that that tolerating intolerance will breed more intolerance. That's actually false. Acceptance is what breeds intolerance. Take the Nazi party. Uh, people tolerated the Nazi party, but then they started to accept the Nazi party in the fact that they were able to do whatever they wanted. And most people would say, oh, that's just ignoring the Nazi party and letting them do what they want, but no. Ignoring something is, I would say, in that circumstance, is the same as accepting something. Uh, small break. Mind you, I am doing shots of black velvet with a mix of black velvet and Fago Cola. From Michigan, Fago is important here, and I, it's cheap as shit. Tolerance means that you are willing to sit there and acknowledge something's existence and not try to fight against it. But acceptance is allowing something to happen without fighting against it as well. I see how that can be somewhat contradicting, but allow me to explain. Um... Uh, Say the Nazi party arises today. Tolerating it would be allowing those people to have those views, but still arguing those views against the idea. I am not for any race being... I don't believe any race is superior than another. I just believe that races have uh, different advantages against the other. Different races have different privileges. And I intend to do a privilege video <coughs> ah. about that later on. But right now, just acknowledging that different races have different advantages. Uh. Tolerating someone's views, even if it's someone who believes that they're superior to another race, is important because in the United States we have the freedom of speech. I don't have to explain what that is. Everyone knows what the freedom of speech is. Uh, you have to be allowed the right to say anti-Semitic, racist, or sexist beliefs. You are allowed to have those beliefs. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Bill Burr lately, and he makes a great point. Sexists and homophobes are allowed to have those the feelings of homophobia and sexism. Say uh, a man sees another man kissing a man, and his first reaction is, Ew, I don't want to see that. That is an instinctual uh, reaction, and it's from birth. I'm one who believes that sexuality is not a choice. You either believe, or that you either are gay or you're not gay. And if you're not gay and you're tolerant of 
gay people, you'll see that and go, eh, but you you know, you won't get in their face about it or you won't leave. You'll just sit there and be like, eh, that's their thing. They'll leave them alone. Unacceptance is going up to them and saying, hey, you can't do that. You're wrong. And explaining why you you think they're wrong, even if it's an idiotic religion, religious reason, or just a uh, procreation reason you think a man and a man or a woman and a woman shouldn't be together, you should be allowed to have those thoughts. Accepting tolerance, but not accepting their ideas, is not accepting uh, their ideals in general. You don't have to uh, accept their beliefs, but you have to tolerate them. You have to be able to sit there and see another person cringe at two, pe two gay people kissing, and ex you have to be able to explain to them, hey, that's completely natural. That's just the way they were born. If someone is homophobic, sexist, racist, they have to hold those thoughts until someone explains to them why those thoughts are wrong. You have to be able to discuss these topics. If you just straight up say, hey, you're racist, you're not allowed to be racist, we can't have a racist around here, and fire them from their job or excommunicate them from a group, they'll just come back more vengeful than ever and cement their ideals that, hey, this is wrong, these people who have wronged me are completely in the wrong, and it just creates more hate. The only way to get rid of hate is to discuss why people hate each other and actually get to the core problem and realize that you don't actually hate the gay person or a racially different person or anything like that. You don't actually hate that. You just hate your indifference to them. And you have to show them that their views are wrong. So my main point to this video is that uh, tolerance is not the problem acceptance is. There is no paradox with tolerance. If a Nazi comes up to you and says, hey, only blonde-haired, blue-eyes people deserve to live, sit there and explain to them why that isn't the case. It, it, as many times as, uh, I, I don't care what termina or terminology you want to use, SJW, feminist, NPC, I don't care. But uh, the people who say that it's not their job to explain what the difference between tolerance, acceptance, racist, bigotry, xenophobia, any of this stuff is, you're fucking wrong. If you want the people around you to change and you want sexism and racism to go away, it is your job to explain to people why racism and sexism is bad. I've had to sit down with uh, someone who I've worked with and explain to them why racism in any form is bad and how it you can't see through the racial lens. You have to see through the true privilege lens, which I'll get into. I'm not one who believes race or sex determines privilege, but the way you were born. And I'll hopefully get into that video later. But the paradox of ending of this video, the pro of the paradox of tolerance solves itself because it's not tolerance that's the problem, but acceptance. You can't accept the Nazi party because their ideology is just bad. But you have to tolerate them because if you don't tolerate them, then you're ignoring them and letting them build up. You have to acknowledge that the movement is growing and you have to knock it down with actual facts. All right, uh, that's the main point of my video, but for all of those who watch this for the cats, this is Rocky. This is the daddy of all the baby cats.
Yeah, he's he's a half a love bug. He likes to be pet. He doesn't like to be pet. He wants to be on your lap, but you better pet him the right way. All right, so I would like to know your guys' thoughts on the, the difference between tolerance and acceptance. And the way I'll end this video, since I hate outros, is I'll end it with a shot. I've dropped this whole thing by myself since no one... Uh, earthquake! Uh, uh, drink this all this whole thing by myself. One. Bye.